Hey guys, Tony Smith here with the Dingwall NG3. It's nice to Cotty White. So it got brought up my attention that what if I don't want to use the stock strings? What if I want to try something else? Say Rotosounds. How about the uh, Rotosound RS665 ELs? Extra length. Obviously, everyone knows the Dingwall does have the 37 scale length on the B string. So will the Rotosounds work? And is it a viable alternative to the stock strings that already come on it? Well, I did a little bit of testing, and yes, you absolutely can use the Roto Sounds. They fit. There is a small little caveat. When you do put it on, the B string is not tapered. So you will have to lower the saddle on the E and B string because of the sizing. No big deal, but I didn't have to adjust anything on the truss rod. So I'm going to add some links. Uh, you're going to see a recording on this. Um, I'm going to add links to what Sheldon's already said, Sheldon Dingwall. He's done a lot of research on this bass and added his input to it too. So testing different style strings, uh, different gauges, different length and everything. So you can't go wrong with the Dingwall stock strings. They're great and they have great tone and it comes stock. If you put a set of stock Dingwall strings onto the bass, you're not going to have to worry about that. You don't have to change anything. You don't change any truss rod, any bridge, or anything like that. With the Roto Sounds, again, the red looks nice on the end, but you are going to have to do some minor adjustments. I didn't have to do any truss rod adjustment on that. I will add links to everything that uh, Sheldon Dingwall said in the past about different scale and everything else. And again, always try to go out and always try to experiment. Now, the recording I did right through a laptop. So bass into an Alpha Omega pedal. It's either on or off straight into a laptop. I'm using GarageBand because it's simple, it's free, and everyone can use it just to test out the sound. The Alpha Omega pedal, everything was at 12 o'clock noon. So just to kind of give an idea what a, bit, a little bit of dirt sounds, I did a little quick little guitar, quick drum. So you're gonna get a stock sound clean, stock sound dirty, roto sound clean, roto sound dirty, and see what you think. But this is just to give you a test out there that on this amazing bass, there are other string manufacturers with an extra scale length that give you a viable alternative if for some reason you don't like the stock strings that came on this bass. Again, forge your own path, try something new, try different sounds, different pedals. Start with a great foundation on an amazing bass and have fun with it. Rock on, guys.